You lay on your back, with a blissful feeling of peace swirling through your brain. Your every muscle is relaxed. There is no tension in any part of your body. You feel completely at ease. As your vision comes into focus, you notice others standing around you as we are here. As a man leans towards you, this little fucker right here, you recognize the robes of the necromancer, and you see a glint of light from his scalpel as it begins to cut through your flesh. Well, our vampirism is starting to get worse again, um, but that's not gonna that's not gonna stop us. Oh, hello! Apparently, you're my friend. Um, I guess he wasn't the one actually doing that, but today. We're, we're gonna keep on suffering our vampirism. What, what even is it at again now? Can't be that bad. 75, yeah, four sun damage. Not exactly the best, but today we're gonna go do some more exploration. At some point, we will cure that vampirism, but it won't be for a while. Today, however, we are just gonna go explore one place. We'll work on that blocking skill, which is oh so fun. It's so goddamn, all right, very dark over here. Yeah, I feel like the most annoying thing about vampirism outside of the sun damage is that whenever, like, your vision just looks different. Like, during the day, it looks different. During the night, I think it's, I want to say it's the same. I think it's just very dark out right now, so it feels very strange. But, it feels very strange. In the day, it is very weird. I haven't really, you haven't really seen much of it, but it is very weird. Um, so, I guess let's go north until the uh, we're gonna go north until the d yeah that, that makes sense oh hello. we'll see what we run into hopefully we will find some sort of location that isn't an oblivion gate which is perfect a fort will do nicely as long as this fort is not related to any quests i'm not really sure what Quest this would be related to way out here, but you never really know. You never know until you go to Google, so. Yeah. Oh, there's a pond out over here, huh? Oh. Oh, and here's the fort. Fort Bulwark. Huh. I feel like that kind of sounds airily familiar. Let me check it out. Well. Google has confirmed my suspicions, and yes, this place is indeed related to a quest. Actually, it is related to a DLC quest, um, which kind of explains my hesitancy. But yeah, well, that was right at the tip of the D over there, so we're now going to travel westward. Going this way, grab a Nern route, love to see it. Yeah, see, if this was in the day, I would be out here searching... Searching for all the Nern root, even though I don't actually need Nern root anymore. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is all, all water areas that seem that are probably very rich with Nern root. Maybe one day I'll hunt down every last Nern root in this game. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully my brain won't compel me to do such an idiotic thing, but it wouldn't surprise me if it did. All right, now we go south. Just take them as they come. For some reason, it's not making any noise as I cast these spells. That's okay. We might be able to get the restoration to 100. We definitely won't get blocked to 100 in this video, but where is my shield? That would be helpful. Yeah, restoration is at 99, about two thirds of the way there. Block is 92. All right, not bad, not bad. Snatch you. And okay, well, there's that oblivion gate. Very surprised we have not found much of anything out here, but. We're gonna go southwest now. I mean, we haven't even found a single enemy. Hopefully we'll find something <laughs> before the sun comes out. Yeah, there's that oblivion gate, all right. Let's go west now, just a little bit. 
This should be good. And then back north. I, I, oh, wow, there's that location. God damn, okay. Um, I, I am very interested in when, uh, th this area, right? It's cool and all, but it's not, like, that crazy. But I feel like with, like, modern game designs, how, how they are now, I feel like if they were to make Black Marsh, they could really redo it and keep some of the same, like, swampy aesthetics, obviously, but, like, really upgrade the, the aesthetics of the, of the swamp. Upgrade the swamps. We don't want to drain the swamps. We want to, I don't know, spread the swamp. That's, uh, <laughs> that really sounds terrible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like making a, a uh, Black Marsh game nowadays would be just so much cooler. Ugh, and after all that, all that exploration just to find an Oblivion Gate. Wow. Well, at least we know we've done, we've got all that area down. Slowly making our way up to the Panther River. Oh, I guess we're closing another Oblivion Gate, which has been damn near the only thing that we have done while we've been exploring this area. It's alright, though. Gotta close them all at some point. Oh, there is a cave over there, whatever. We are inching our way along. Let's work on that, uh... Work on that skill. I can't... I don't, I don't take damage from... Oh, you don't even go off anymore. Okay, cool. Uh, boy. Yeah. Alright, certain enemies, unless if they're, like, actively... Oh, I don't... I'm still confused. Why does it my so sword give me damage back onto myself? Surely it's not because of my... Oh, well, I can still wear that. Surely it's not because of my own reflex stuff. No. Is that an effect of being a vampire? I really don't get that. I don't know. Has th These guys haven't always had like a reflect damage kind of thing going on. Or Actually, what's this effect that is on me right now? I think, oh uh, yeah, that's just from Alien. Well, that's just, uh, weird. Do Storm Atronox, is this gonna damage me? No, that's not gonna damage me. What if, what about my bow? Nope, that's not my bow. Where's my bow? Where is my bow? Uh, here we are. Oh, I don't have any arrows on. <laughs> this isn't gonna hurt me, is it? No. Weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know why that's doing damage to myself. Sure. Let's try it on this guy. Are you, are you gonna hurt me? Um... No, okay, maybe Storm Atro Atronauts have a reflect damage thing on them? I've just never realized somehow. Also, block me, block. We must suffer through the block. Ugh. Ninety-two. <laughs> well, hopefully in this gate we can get it to like ninety-four at least. That's the that's the goal here. Ninety-four. When, when, I feel like once I get it to ninety-four, I'll I'll stop for this video and just yeah you know, play it like a normal human being. Or maybe I just aim to level it up one time each of these videos. I think that might be the move. Yeah, that's that's gonna end up being the move. Once it levels up, I'll I'll play like a normal human being. So this video shouldn't be that bad in that sense, since it's already halfway there. I'm kind of taking a beat note out here though. It's all right. Badop. Oh, 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 I think I forgot to put those, uh, 
Yeah, let's put these back on. That'll that'll help as well. All right, here we go. This is more like it. I speed it up a little bit. May not necessarily help us as far as leveling up, but at some point you gotta sacrifice the the skill for sanity. Thank you, bud. Blood sack. Fucking weird. Break, bleed. What did the voice actor actually sound like for that? You know, because a lot of times, um, <clears throat> you know, the voice actor, even like when they do have all that animation and stuff, you still have to kind of like act. You still have to act it out. It's not like you can just say it all boring like. Oh. He beat me. Beat me with that roll. Can I roll into you, bud? Let me roll into you. No? Okay. For some reason I'm just jumping. I don't know what I don't know why these traps like don't activate anymore. Did I? Shit. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Hell with that quick. Chop back. You should be on seven. Come on, bud. Let's get this over with. I wanna go home and read a book. Another racist book by that lady. <laughs> oh, goodness. I wonder how many books I'm gonna end up going through. I'm only doing them on these exploration quests. Oh, well, blocking. All right. You know, I think I'll do two levels actually, because that was that was very very quick. Um. Yeah, I wonder how many books I'm gonna end up going through, because obviously I've started reading them way 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 too late. Um, and I've only been reading them, you know, on all of these exploration videos. So. Oh, okay, here we go, back to our 100%. A warm, gentle breeze causes a tickle on your face, but as you go to brush it off, you find you cannot move your arms. Looking at your skin, you realize that it's turned to a brutal green glass, kind of like glass armor. Standing perfectly still, you breathe in shallow gulps of air, knowing that moving would cause your skin to shatter into thousands of pieces. The tickle on your face worsens, and you know that you are about to sneeze. As your skin shatters, you wake up sweating. Yeah, I'm like a thousand percent. We, we already actually read that one, but whatever. We already had that one. It, it might be the same, uh, like, effects that they say every time, but we're a very powerful vampire who simply cannot, uh, ever go outside during the day. Under risk of dying damn near immediately. Ugh. That's tough. That's a tough life. All right, you two can just die regular old deaths. Enemies in Skyrim don't moan and feel, oh, jeez, okay, and make that much noise when you're killing them, right? I feel like they, they kind of tone that down. It's when you're swinging a lot on some of these guys, they like... They really go crazy on the animations. Wow, you take hella damage from that. What the hell? My destruction is raised from being a vampire. Definitely. Yeah, 120. Okay, I was gonna say. There's no way I'm just regularly doing that much damage right now. Oh, that also reminds me. I gotta make some more spells once those guys to 100. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's gonna be exciting. Oh, hello. That's gonna be exciting. Alright, Storm Atronach. Yeah, I guess Storm Atronach's... I guess they've just always reflected damage like that. I've never really noticed. Weird. Has this always been the case? I mean, I feel like I've never noticed it. Definitely not to that extent. I mean, there's no way. There is no way in hell that that has been doing that this entire time. Weird. I don't know. Maybe it has. Maybe I'm just genuinely stupid. I was that stupid for like 250 times playing this game. <laughs> 250 episodes through. 
I'm just now realizing. Like, hey, you idiot. You take damage from that stuff. Um, Alright, let's go inside. Okay. Daedroth. Zivile. Daedroth. Okay, cool. We'll get them all. Get them all out here. That Daedroth, I think, is coming. Alright, I think I gotta piss off this one as well. He does not appear to be... There he goes. There we go. Now, now he's getting all mad. Now he's getting salty. Yeah, we'll get this to, I'd say, at least... Oh, are you? Oh. What the hell? Okay, that guy's just going after the plant fair. Oh, unfortunately he's only going... He only care about the one plant fair. Do you care about the next one? Oh god, alright. <laughs> well, this is... We can definitely get it to 90, 94 here, I feel like, probably. Block 93, yeah. Who knows, maybe I'll go, maybe I'll, maybe I will just kind of try and knock it out in this episode. And this is, this is a great start. Essentially five enemies all hitting me with melee attacks, this is perfect. Exactly. Exactly what I was looking for, cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, now, yeah, I was gonna say, one of them is definitely gonna die here. I go, spawn your clan fair again, bruh. <laughs> this is just hysterical. It is, it is actually highly entertaining. When there's many of them hitting you, it is very interesting. When there's just one, it's it's much less so. Alright, you're gonna die from that. Oh, oh. Ah, still alive. There he goes. He's coming. He's coming sooner or later. Mm, ugh. Yep, yep. There we go. Alright. Just the one now. They actually did a fuck ton of damage. Oh. I went up a damn good amount. Where's uh oh here he is. But I don't want I don't want to yield. I just want I just want his his heart. Like pull out his still beating heart. Play can acquire just how does one get a Daedric heart? What if I just cut out his freaking... <laughs> cut out his... Cut a hole in his chest and just rip that shit out with my bare fucking hands? Like... How many amount of diseases these things have to carry? I mean, look at this fucker. You don't think this man has AIDS? Oh. Okay. Thought I was... Thought I could have been a little closer to the lava there. Alright, bud. Can you hurry us up? Let's do a little healing. Work that. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you think? You could outjuke me, bud? I didn't see where the hell he is. We we're both just running perfect circles around each other. Ah, there he is. Alright, one more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bud, go ham. Go stupid. Go crazy. Go stupid. Be your own demise. I love it. Ugh. Get up. Get up. It's, it's already halfway there. Maybe I want to get to 95 in this episode. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. I feel like I've never really looked that closely at a Zivile before. These guys are ugly as fuck, dude. Look at his face. He got some crazy ass horns. That's actually terrifying as hell. Oh my god. The rest of his body, like, 
far away, you kind of kind of look a little cute. How close you are, ugly bro. You're not even looking at me. You're like looking above me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Talking too much shit. All right, bud. Can we end this? <coughs> Up on them out here, making literally everything that you've done completely irrelevant. <laughs> uh, here we go. Got the best of both worlds now. Oh yeah, we gonna we just block and rest. I waited way too long on that one. Block and restoration going at the same time. Does not get any more. Does not get any better than this. Come on, dude. Ooh, you actually. Oh, I didn't realize he actually does have pupils in there. If you look really closely, I don't think you can actually see them. I thought it was just full glowing eyes. Yeah, no, he got. Oh, he got full ir irises and shit. Huh. Oh, finally, thank you. God, only so many comments I can make on your appearance before it gets old. <laughs> Alright, almost 94. I think I may actually go for 95 in this video. We'll see, we'll see. I really just gotta get that stuff over with, you know? <clears throat> hey, y'all! Shut up, weakling. Come on, bud. You got any friends around here? Yeah, here we go. I was going to say, I can't, I can't do another 1v1 like that. Even though that started out as a... What if I... What if I... What if I... Oh, we got... Alright, there we go. Three people. Perfect. This is more like it. <clears throat> there we go. Third person. Get as many blocks as possible. Put your shield up, bruh. Boom, okay, I don't think I blocked a single one there. Yes, sir. You gonna swing here? There you go, dude. Got the freaking Warhammer, you ain't doing shit. Surprised I even hit my shield there. Okay, yep, yep, get the two per. Okay, okay, solid. You know what, bud? I'd rather you not be standing right by me. Get up, get up. Don't die. Don't die yet. You do not have my permission to die. Imagine if I just healed these guys while doing this. And that was my way of working block. <laughs> How are you? You are doing... Uh, okay, 94. Yeah, we're, we're still working it. This is this is nothing so far. I, I gotta get this civil lay down though. Or else he's gonna piss me off, you know. Focus all our blocking on the ziv. Come on, bud. Wait, I'm scared. You see my health going down? You think I'm scared? I think I might die? Ooh, that was a good block right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, one. Two. I love the way they just their entire body just stiffens and they fall right down. I don't know why, that's just so funny to me. Ninety-four, we can definitely get that to ninety-five in this, oh yeah. Well, well if we do get it to ninety-five though, the rest of the way, we are most certainly just murking everything. Three three levels, more like two and a half, is more than enough. 
And then in the next video, we would get it to, to 97, and then probably 99, and then we'll do 100. Since that should, you know, technically take the longest. Hopefully we can, uh, yeah, explore some places that are not Oblivion Gates. Because goddamn, if we had a lot of Oblivion Gates. I think there's only been one place so far that I've gone... Uh, like this year, you know, 2023, 20, where I have not uh, closed an Oblivion Gate in one of these exploration videos. Oh, actually, that's not true, because we were exploring the Imperial Island before that. So let's be sorry, exploring this Black Marsh area. It's been nothing but Oblivion Gates. Raw. This guy's got the craziest grunts. And look at him. Malakath creation. Yeah, he definitely looks like Malakath creation. Oh, it may have been Malak Ball, actually. I think he was actually Malak Ball's creation. Oh, I forgot what it said online. Apparently, all these, all these, most of these enemies here have like different masters. Which is kind of cool. Do we find that online, or do we find that? Um, we may have found that from one of the books, actually. I don't. I don't quite recall. I don't know. Oh, all right. Yeah, I mean, look at his face, dude. That's actually a really cool position for him to die in. But look at that face. I wish I could just lay down and go prone next to the guy. That's all right. Alright. Oh yeah, 94 and a third. And, oh, so close to 100. So ridiculously close. We gotta get that to 100 today. Alright. Oh, we got over here. Anybody? Really? Huh. All right. Oh, hello, sir. Gotta try to have a sip of water for a second. The game's pissing me off. This game's got no remorse for me. All right, bud. Which way you want to go? You want to go up this way? You got a good friend over here? What kind of friend you got over here? Nobody. Very strange. Okay. What about up here? Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, you can die, though. You don't need to be here. You are useless to me. Um, you know what? I think I might also run down here and just piss off somebody else. Is there anybody over here? No. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, let's just do this down here. Why not? Three Jamora? Should go by decently quick. To the Zivalays that really piss you off. Cause those things have so much health. Okay, why y'all? Why are you dancing around so much, dude? Just stand there, stand perfectly still. Attack me in the same intervals as everybody else. Oh yeah, here we go. This is how this. This is how the game was meant to be played. <laughs> Pop, 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 Come on, dudes. My dudes. Ooh, is that my blood up on the wall over there? <laughs> Ooh, really airy. Oh my god. How is my shield not broken? I, sh I should probably repair my stuff, huh? That might be helpful. Okay, cool. Calm down. Bud, you do not have that right to banish me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Alright, yep. Bud, you just gonna mark yourself doing that. Oh, I am actually about to die. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> Let me run away for a second. We got a healing thingy up here. What do we got? Nothing. What the hell? You never see that. I guess you probably always do. Since I have closed so many of these gates, but whatever. Alright. There we go. Last guy. Maybe you better die too. Come on, bud. Just do it. Just fall over. Just stiffen. Get stiffed, boy. Oh my god, bruh. Stiff. Stiff. Nope. Just waiting for my man to get hard all of a sudden. Oh my god, you are actually just surviving. Surviving and thriving here. There he goes. He does his little bunny hop in the air. Alright. Oh. That is... I'll probably get that to Azure as I heal myself right now. That is so close to 95. Alright. There it is. Oh my god. Hallelujah. And I did it while not even using my level restoration. I did that with regular restoration. I mean, for that one time right there. The secret energies of the human body have not surrendered their mysteries easily to you. Oh, they definitely have not. You are now a master of restoration and can cast master level restoration spells. Hallelujah. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, well, I guess I don't really need to sit around trying to work on, on that anymore. And I don't have any more magic that I need to use. I don't, I don't have to do any of that dumb shit anymore. Wow, that's, that's a special moment right there. It's just block, which is almost at 95, and athletics, which is boosted by 20 right now, so it's only actually level 90. Oh, my, a lot of my armor is broken too. Huh? See, now the question becomes, what do I, because I've, I've had this level, this uh, four spot dedicated to my level stuff for a long time, but I don't really know what to use anymore. Do I have invisibility on anything? No. I could put. I could throw on invisibility there. I don't really need my invisibility, to be honest, though. Well, I suppose I can put on my invisibility for now. I may change that. You never know. It's a very expensive invisibility. Whatever. Can can motherfucker even see us like this? Nah, you straight up cannot see me. I can do whatever the fuck I want. This guy does not care. Oh, if I act, if I try to talk to him though, you he, he don't, he don't like that. All right. Oh, you can actually. I don't want to block just one person, so I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah, come on, bud. Ooh. I mean, that guy really had the bunny hops. Man, uh, two more skills left to level, that's crazy. And one of them we don't actually do anything for, though we will literally never get it. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time for that to get to 100, but whatever. That's crazy to me how long that one skill takes to level up. And that's with it starting at 25. That's genuinely insane. I mean, I know we don't swim a lot. Swimming is how you're meant to actually level it, if you were to try and level it. But like, I don't think anyone wants to go swimming for that long. I'm pretty sure, like, I've seen some videos, like, the fastest way to level that up is really just, like, tie your, your key, the W button, so that, that will never go down. And just, like, keep on swimming for as long as you possibly can. Which I think going from like level 10 in that, which would be what it's set at if it's a minor skill. It may actually be lower than that, I don't even remember. Um, 
But yeah, working it all the way from like as low as it can possibly be to 100 takes like three days of swimming, which is just absolutely insane. Like three non-stop days of like your computer is running. Human time days. Not oblivion days. Oh, where the hell are you? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Jeez, man. I got speeding Gonzales over here. Come on, dude. Alright, bud. Just kill yourself. Kill yourself on my shield. Nope. Alright, fine. If you want to just keep on backing away. Ooh. Let's grab that. Am I a, am I a 1.5 million here yet? Almost, almost. Just another 50,000. All right. I keep I keep going back to the four spot. Out of force of habit, right there. Oh, it's gonna take a while to get used to not having to do that. All right, let's just run up there. Ninety-four, so close to ninety-five. Yeah, we can get that to ninety-five in this. All right, who else is here? Just the mage guy. Mage, I don't, I don't, I don't want you here. You're just annoying. You don't even do any damage. I resist all everything you do. Oops, sorry, bud. I'm very majest. Alright, come on. Are you the last person in this area? You got any friends up here? No, just you. Just you and the mage, huh? huh? Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. I won't judge. Bud, would you mind just following me into the next room? How do I make this easier, huh? Oh, what if I block you down the thing? Oh, that's so cool. Can I, can I actually fit you down there? Oh, God. Well, that's not going to help. Come on, dude. All right, come on. Yes, come on. Keep going back. Keep going back. You're getting so close. Hit me. No, 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 Jesus. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Come on. Oh, one more. Maybe two more? One or two more? No, hit him. Hit him, guy. Hit him backwards, damn it. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. I feel like you definitely can, though. Well, not quite what I was going for there. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Not what I wanted. But very close to 95, so that's okay. It is okay. It is okay. Who's here? All right. Spider, get you out of here. Cool. Do that we can steal whatever whatever's in here, which is just about nothing. <laughs> Solid ten gold will end up getting from that. Not even. Now, did I loot you? No, I did not. Not much in there either, though. Is there nobody up here? Just two guys in here? Oh, really? All right. Well. One of these guys will get us to 95, and then we'll just kill the rest. Hopefully they don't kick me all the way down the tower. Oh, come, oh, come on, please. Oh, hopefully that guy in the back doesn't... Yes. Good. <laughs> I don't think they actually killed him, though. Yeah, I definitely didn't kill him, though. That's alright. Knock him down another level. 
Oh, he just walked it. Okay. <laughs> Block increased. Perfect. Now we can die the rest of the way. Alright, away. I ain't doing that one again. No sorry. Oh, buddy, don't don't fall down that little tiny crack there. I think you actually can. Do we find that out? I thought I thought like you could, or some, I think something could go wrong there. I don't know. I feel like I remember maybe something just like fell and rolled down there. I think I'm, I think we killed somebody and then their body fell through that. I could be wrong. I might just be imagining that. Okay. Snag those. Let's uh, make sure that when we close this, that it'll be day or night time, 11.34. Okay, okay, that's perfectly fine. Cool. So just stone. Drop down. And then mark everybody out here. Who's here? Just day drop? Uh, is it really just one day draw? I may actually have him block me. Or have me block him. Yeah, alright, let's do it, bud. Day drops are very easy in this regard. Since they do just about only melee damage like that. Mm, all right, danger off. Can you go a little faster here, bud? All right. Nope. I guess you won't. Yes, you can. Just block him every time he does it. Okay. Fair enough. Well, close the Oblivion Gate. Discovered some other place. There is a cave nearby. There it is, to the east. Well, discover that the next time we go exploring. Oh, we're way over here. Okay. Well, I think we are in this area. Um, but for now, we're going to go find our book and go read. And by find our book, I mean go back to our lovely little hovel. And not practice any spells while we're walking there, which feels very strange and I'm struggling to resist the urge. And sit down in our cozy little spots by the fire. Maybe we'll even take off our helmet, relax, you know? Not look through whatever the fuck that is. So try and read a book. <laughs> Oh, well, we're not a whole lot prettier on the other, on the other side of that. In any regard, today, 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 we are reading the the Guide to Bruma. Let's find out what racist stuff she has to say about Nords this time. Seven pages, all right. Alessia Odysseus' Guide to Bruma. Father Talos, protect us all. My name is Alessia Otis, and I'd like to tell you all about Bruma. Bruma is understood to be a Nibbanese county, but in truth it is more Nord than Nibbanese, on account of its close proximity to the Skyrim border, and on account of the terrible cold and, dis and discomfort of its location high in the Jarl Mountains. Very fair complaint. Bruma is always cold and covered with snow, with braziers kept burning in every quarter to prevent the citizens from freezing to death. Crazy that, like, none of this stuff really applies in, uh, in Skyrim. Skyrim really only has, like, what, three or four cities that are actually snowy? Actually, there's really only, like, three? Yeah, there's, like, three cities in Skyrim that are actually snowy. It's like, uh, uh, Windhelm... Winterfell, and, uh, like, Dawnstar. E everywhere else is not snowy at all. <laughs> very strange, very strange. I, 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 To be fair, I do also think that this lady's being probably a bit dramatic about the, the whole freezing to death part. Everything is built 
Everything is built in wood, since trees are so plentiful in the forests of the Geralds, and even rich men live here in dark, dirty wooden huts, of course. It is little wonder that Nords are such drunken heathen savages, for life is impossible in such a climate, and one might be tempted to drink into insensibility or sell one's soul to just find sanctuary from the bitter cold and relentless wind. You know... She was very dramatic with the, I mean, that Nords are drunken, heathen savages. Though a lot of Nords, even in Skyrim, are very much like, it's too cold, I need a drink. So I, I, I kind of understand that philosophy. It's very racist. Castle Bruma is cold and drafty, carelessly decorated and dark with soot from the perpetually burning braziers. The smell of smoke and cinders is overpowering. The high ceilings are grand, but impossible to heat, and one is never able to get warm. You know, I wouldn't really know, because I cannot feel the cold. The ancient layers of soot and filth encrusting the encrusting that sounds weird the stonework makes it difficult to appreciate the exceptional stone carving except in its stonework and grand scale the castle is like the log huts of the people cold dark drafty and dirty always with the negativity countess narina carvain is a nibbanian heartlander a dutiful chapel goer and a respect and a respected ruler, though she is a cunning and ruthless negotiator, and has a reputation for sharp dealing and treachery. Really? I don't recall those rumors, but okay. Administration of the county is efficient and well-ordered, and a well-trained and aggressive town watch, under command of a hard-nosed Nord captain, ensures that thieves and beggars are not very troublesome, though Nords are famous for drunkenness and rioting. Yep, okay. No comment. <laughs> Access to the castle is through a gate west from the town into a courtyard. The shops, inns, guilds are located... The shops, inns, guilds are located in the north, either on the western terrace near the castle gate or below the terrace north of the chapel. I feel like you needed an and in that sentence. Could have helped. Chapel is the central feature of the southern of the southern Bruma, with houses ranged all along the inside of the walls. All with, with houses ranged all along the inside of the walls along east and south. That's very weirdly written, okay. She's not the best writer, we'll just say that. <laughs> the streets are are cramped and barren since few trees and plants can survive the cold, but the town is compact and quickly explored. Bruma's Nibbanian citizens faithfully observe Chapel Sunda's rituals, but the lower classes are unregenerate unre unre followers of the heathen Nord gods. Who even are the heathen Nord gods? They they really just worship the Nine. Am I am I wrong in that assumption in Skyrim? And they keep to their own secret superstitions and uncivilized practices. Yeah, they don't. What gods do they really have in Skyrim? Am I am I imagining that? Am I just like being stupid? But like they definitely do just praise the nine. Like mostly mostly Talos, but I don't know. You will not be surprised to find you can purchase good quality weapons and armor here, for Nord smiths are famous for the quality of their wares. But you should not expect to be able to purchase books here, for Nords are ignorant and not fond of reading. The fighters and mages' guilds are poor and short-staffed. Well, the mages' guild is definitely very short-staffed nowadays, huh? For no one wants to be posted to such a gray and cold land. But at least the mages' guild is kept good and warm. Though I shrink from imagining what infernal engines are employed to produce and preserve that heat. Okay, whatever, lady. May the nine bless and save you, you know? Of all of her racist books so far, I th I want to say that that was the least racist of them. Oh, I didn't mean to. Well, hopefully that'll reset itself. <laughs> actually, you know, I didn't actually technically do anything while I've been in here. All the stuff has just been purely for the for the game for the, the video, so I guess that's fine. Um, but yeah, of all her racist books, I feel like that has been her least racist of the books, and that's saying a lot because that was still very. Very racist. <laughs> but 
the Anvil, she was going off on the Pirates, she was going off on the, the Argonians, Spreville, she was going off on the Khajiit and the Argonians. Um, this one, it was just a little bit about Nords drinking too much, which I feel like a lot of Nords would kind of laugh at that anyway. And then, you know, there's some other stuff that was pretty bad as well, but, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, she's she's improving. I really can't wait until we get to the Leowin one. The Leowin one's gonna be bad, dude. She's she's probably gonna end up like agreeing with the fucking countess that like we need to just eradicate. <laughs> we need to like eradicate all of the 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 Argonian Khajiit. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video where we'll, we'll be back doing some more Dark Brotherhood stuff. Till then, you back. Cause I don't want to see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. Or my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you. Cause I don't want to see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. Or my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you.